Hello everybody and welcome back to Blank Slate Entertainment. My name is Full Blood Max, and just a couple hours ago I managed to unlock the VMF F4JB. And since I'm a GE whore, I managed to just GE my way to the uh, newest AGM bullpups. What do you, so what do I think about this plane? Well, the plane is very good by itself. I have the regular one, and I enjoy that very much. But how are the new missiles? Well, in a short word, fantastic. The missiles are very, very good. As what Mike goes boom and people like Fly or even, God forbid, Slickby have said, they're very good. So, one thing you may notice is this thing. You may be wondering, what is that? Well, I can tell you it's not a missile or a rocket, but it's actually the guiding system for the bullpups right here. So taking up one extra space, instead of you, instead of getting an extra missile, you get this guiding space which allows you to control. And for that, I think that was a very wise decision for, uh, for the engineers back in the day. Now, I will say my plane is not spaded because I only locked it two hours ago. But I have done some play testing with it and the best results I found are to go into full real controls and then you go to weaponry and the yaw axis for aim weapons I key bound them with my uh, arrow keys instead of the old was because I found that to be really awkward and when you go in here flip on relative control and I set mine for about 70% because I find that 100% is way too sensitive to control the missiles with and that uh, instead of just slightly adjusting it adju you would over adjust if you hadn't adjusted the sensitivity and I've done that for both the yaw and the pitch axis another thing that I've done is that the tracking camera bomb slash torpedo I've taken that off because I I found out that if you just hold control you can follow the missile instead of having the normal key bound of you so I just took that off and I found that that works much more better for me at least you can adjust the controls to whatever you want but these are the settings I found so enough of the talking let me show you some gameplay so here we are in the test drive and a lot of people have been exploiting this but on a regular game you can sit at the airfield and if the airfield is close enough to the actual battlefield and tanks RB you could actually spam um, the missiles while constantly reloading and the thing is about these missiles they're only a hundred dollars or a hundred silver lines per missile instead of the hydras and they have more explosive mass than the hydras so I feel these are way more superior than the hydras and but the one downside is that they're incredibly heavy which I will show you in a sec so what was I talking about so a lot of people like for example have been sitting at the airfield like this and they've been launching the missiles and just guiding it to the battlefield and as you can see I'm using the was to control it and and there we go so let me just get up into the air real quick and for all the new players that don't know how to have a jet since this might be a lot of them might this might be their first jet a good way to get enough distance or speed to take off in short airfields is to put your thruster at 100%, hold B for the brakes, and once your engine gets to a certain temperature, like 1149 degrees Fahrenheit, and yes, I do use Fahrenheit, just let go of the B, or the brakes, and you shall be able to take off pretty easily. So here I am up in the air, and I'm going to shoot this vehicle up. Now I found that just normally shooting them straight is pretty good. 
There we go. Just like that. Now you don't really have to adjust your aiming because these uh, missiles will fly pretty straight for about three seconds and then they'll start to veer off and fall. But I find it easier to control it, to fire one, follow it, and then adjust till the last second to aim for so it can aim for your target. So what do I think about this event vehicle? I say it's a very good event vehicle and I'm proud that Gaijin is finally starting to implement um, air to ground missiles and I think this is just a stepping stone to radar guided missiles which should be coming very very soon as in maybe a year from now but hey it's better than not getting them at all was it worth it I would say yes absolutely yes but be careful because this plane will be spammed out over the course of I say two weeks so it'll if you're gonna go into top tier games with your XM1s and T55 AMs, I would just avoid it at all costs for now, up until helicopters are released. Well, this has been Full Blood Max, and thank you for watching.